Breaking tonight, the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office investigating an arrest of a wanted fugitive involving a canine handler and a canine dog. CBS 12's Al Pefflet reports the incident in question was caught on cell phone video by a bystander. He joins us live at the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office near West Palm Beach. Al? Liz, what happened during this arrest is spelled out in this official report from PBSO, but video that was sent into the CBS 12 newsroom raises questions about the actions of a canine handler who took part in getting this wanted suspect into custody. When PBSO agents arrested 30-year-old Gerson Delmas on a rape charge in Belglade, a bystander with a cell phone camera recorded some of what happened. Delmas was seated in the front seat of an unmarked PBSO SUV. He was handcuffed behind his back, and his legs were secured with shackles. The arrest report says while restrained in the vehicle, Delmas kicked and even headbutted deputies who were trying to get him under control. Because the violence was escalating, a deputy with a canine got involved. Delmas, according to the report, kicked the dog in the head. This is the part of the video raising questions. Delmas, who is handcuffed and shackled, is pulled from the SUV and winds up face down on the ground. At this point, he is no longer resisting. But the PBSO canine dog can be seen biting and tearing at his ankle and leg while the handler has his leash but seemingly makes no attempt to stop the animal or pull it off the suspect. We showed the video to Valentin Rodriguez, a longtime civil litigation and criminal defense attorney in West Palm Beach, who has sued PBSO over canine cases before. He says the dog is not supposed to bite someone who is not a danger to the officers. The continuous biting of the suspect in the vehicle and outside is, um, would be recognized by any court as excessive force. Canine handler should not have used his dog in a situation where someone's already handcuffed, period. We reached out to the sheriff's office for comment on this incident. While they did provide the arrest report and warrant information for the rape suspect regarding the video and the actual incident, they told us, quote, this incident is currently under review and investigation, and therefore, we cannot comment further. As soon as this morning, we could finally learn what the updated version of the AP African American Studies curriculum will include. It's a course high school students can take to get college credit, and it's being taught in high schools across the country, including here in Florida. Yeah, but the class is at the center of a fight between the Florida Department of Education under the leadership of Governor Ron DeSantis and educators from the state and across the country. The college credit course was banned after the state claimed the class indoctrinates students. At the same time, the governor is further pushing his agenda of cutting what he calls far left agenda in higher education. We have live team coverage this morning on both of these topics. We'll get to our Danielle DeRoss at the live desk with more on the higher ed cut proposals and how it may impact local universities cities in just a moment. But first, we go out live to our Stephanie Valderrama at the Palm Beach County School District headquarters. What's going on with this college course today? Stephanie. Yes, good morning. So the big question this morning is what is next for this AP course and will it once again be taught here in schools across Florida? So according to Education Week, the state education commissioner said he would consider lifting the ban of the class if several quote topics of concern were removed from the classroom instruction. So you may be wondering what are those topics of concern? Well, according to Governor Ron DeSantis, the class teaches quote black queer theory, which the governor believes is quote pushing an agenda on kids. Now, the Department of Education also believes the class teaches topics of critical race theory and, quote, ranks people based on their race, wealth, gender, and sexual orientation. Now, keep in mind, Florida law does prevent critical race theory from being taught in classrooms. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump announcing he would file a lawsuit against the state of Florida and Governor Ron DeSantis if they block this class from being taught in classrooms. Here he is at a press conference on January 25th talking about his intent to file that lawsuit. We're here to give notice to Governor DeSantis that if he does not negotiate with the college board to allow AP African American Studies to be taught in the classrooms across the state of Florida, that these three young people will be the lead plaintiffs in a historic lawsuit. 
Well, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People also announced over the weekend that they plan to file a lawsuit as well. Now, according to the college board, no state can weigh in on the framework of any class, let alone provide any feedback. Again, that final framework going to be released sometime today on the first day of Black History Month. I also do want to make a note that I reached out to the governor's office to find out exactly what they want removed from that framework. They referred me to the state of education and or the state department of education and they still haven't responded to my request.